so welcome back. Today's video is gonna be an online thrift with me. I'm actually gonna take you through some of the sites that I love to go for secondhand pieces. We'll actually come back here after that portion and unbox all of this awesome stuff. So let's go back in time to when I actually ordered these items and I'm gonna walk you through some of my favorite sites to shop on. So excited for this video. I've been thinking about doing a video with this concept for a while. I know my setup looks different. I am not filming at home, obviously, and I'm gonna scoot over and prop up my screen over on this side. So we're just very laid back today. This is very informal. I've got like a bowl of candy next to me. And how fun is this? We're just gonna like snack and shop online together. This is like a mukbang now. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Probably shouldn't have gone with a gummy bear. So the other bonus of thrifting online is of course you have access to like a lot more variety of product and designer brands. The site I love for designer brands is The Real Real. So we're gonna go into my favorites. I flagged some sunglasses. I feel like I'm finally at a place in my life where I can be responsible for a nice pair of sunglasses. So <laughs> I'm ready to get a nice pair of sunglasses. I saved a lot of Tory Burch styles. Like look how cute this one is. Saved these sparkly Kate Spade glasses. Look how Elton John this moment is. <laughs> I love a classic Ray-Ban. Like I definitely saved a few Ray-Ban styles. These Bottega Veneta ones, they're a little bit of that like broader, like Lady Gaga. Okay, I think I do know which ones I wanna get and I'm actually gonna go with these Prada glasses. Okay, let's go to the next item and would love to get another pair of loafers or maybe like a kitten heel. These Chanel ones are on sale right now for $1.22. These look very classic and cute. If I'm gonna go high-end, like I would love to have some nice luxury fabrics like satin, silk, cashmere. So looking at cashmere, I found this crazy sweater. <laughs> it's not crazy. Also, in the cashmere department spotted this Diane von Furstenberg cardigan. So many cute details with the beading on it. And it's on sale for $19. That's amazing for any type of like cashmere sweater. Look how cute this Hermes cashmere knit set is. It is $340, which is out of my price range, but I suppose like, you know, considering what it is, that's like a good deal relatively speaking <laughs> don't come for me guys like i'm not wealthy <laughs> yes to cashmere okay we're not getting it okay we're done there so next we're gonna shop on thread up so you can see like it pulled up twenty-one thousand items on here so we are not doing that we're just gonna go ahead and look at the ones that i already saved i was drawn to like some of these flouncier tops and dresses you can see this ralph lauren dress is 100 percent silk too and this is a classic black cocktail dress i'm digging the like sort of organza material stuff right now look at the fun details on that sleeve this one i'm considering real hard this is a and can dkny how cool and fun could that be to style it definitely needs to be steamed in this photo oh look they have this t-shirt which i own so if you like this tee you can go buy it on thread up for eight dollars and 39 cents and we could be twinning okay let's look at this faux fur ralph lauren jacket anything that you wear with this like this is gonna like uh, hmm this cutie you could totally layer this with your sweater vest and like do the dark academia thing with the polo hello 1990s i love you i have something like this that i have had pinned for quite a while i love it making my pinterest dreams come true candy break very roaring 20s which we're back in again of course as soon as the pandemic ends like it's over for you bitches we're gonna be like so dressed up, so going out. Ugh, what a dream. I found like kind of my dream loafers. These are Cole Haan. What do we love? I love. I think this could be like a very good February and spring top because of like Valentine's Day and everyone's kind of wearing those like romantic pieces. I guess I'm just ready for spring because I'm really drawn to a lot of these like beautiful florals. That's just like 
calling to me. It's funny how like a couple days later, some of the stuff I'm looking at going like, why did I save that? <laughs> Let's go ahead and put it in the cart and then decide. That's how it works at the thrift store, right? Like just put it in your cart just in case. <laughs> And maybe that's why like they make you go back to the top of the page because I keep scrolling past the same items and then I'm like, well, do I really want to pass on that? <laughs> my cart's filling up. You no, know how I feel about my girl Liz. This just looks like, it looks high end to me, you know? I love the pleating that I'm seeing. That's like very important to me in life. Oh, that's a blazer. Nah. Okay, next we're gonna go on Poshmark. This is so fun. It's like, treat yourself, treat yourself. I really considered these coach loafers. Like, look how cute. This is my absolute favorite style of shoe to wear. I will get so much wear out of these. I have been considering this little who what wear skirt. Look how luscious the little colors are on it. It's kind of pink and peachy and... But this one is really speaking to me. I have some cream sweaters I could wear. Even this sweater I'm currently wearing would look nice with it. Something on my actual list of thrift is lavender. The style I had pictured was something either like this kind of bobble style, something that's like more casual knit, a little bit of a cropped fit I love. Isn't that the most darling thing? Look at it, it has like star buttons. I like this and other stories one, but I couldn't find one in my size. I just love how she has her style. Like, is she not the cutest? You are the cutest. Go girl. Honestly, my favorite choice is actually this little H&M one. I think this is like perfect for what I'm looking for. 80s mod is like what I'm going for. And this one looks like a little bit too sweet for me, but like, oh. That vintage Liz tag just like gets me every time. I have been trying to find something like this in a thrift store for probably two years or more. And I'm just like tired of waiting. <laughs> okay, my last stop is going to be on Etsy. And one of the things on my list has been a vintage sweatshirt. I've saved um, some really cool Elvis ones but the Elvis ones are collectible. They tend to be more expensive. Like this one is $60. I saved this Smith's one, that one's 26. I have been looking at this store for a long time and thought it'd be so fun to order surprise sweatshirts. Okay, we're done shopping and then we're gonna do a big unboxing haul try on styling and it's gonna be so much fun. I have just a couple quick things to share before we get started and like tear into these packages. First, I wanna show you the sweater that I'm wearing. And many of you maybe saw me thrift this last year. Just multiple trends happening with this sweater. It's so fantastic. And yet, this is the first and only time I've ever worn it. I'm just wearing it to film in today. I also ended up thrifting the other day a pastel pink and white checkerboard sweater that I love, and I know I'm gonna keep that one. So this is a little plug to say, first of all, if you're not already, go follow me on Instagram because I did post a Savers 50% off sale thrift haul over there that included this sweater I'm talking about. So if you're not already following me, Instagram, there's like other bonus content, like thrifting content and styling content. And the second part of that is to say that since I am keeping the other one and not this one, I'm going to be putting this sweater up for sale on my Poshmark and Depop store. So if you're not following me on Poshmark and Depop, please do that as well. You know that I don't primarily thrift to resell. However, I do always come across these amazing vintage and special pieces. And I feel like talking to a lot of you guys, we end up having some of the same taste and style overlap. So it's possible that you really like some of the things in my closet. So go give me a follow over there. And if you have a Poshmark, Depop or eBay store, anything like that, please drop it in the comments so I can go check it out and follow you and we can all support each other. Since this video is about online thrifting, this is like the perfect opportunity for us to like plug our little stores. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for letting me plug mine. Don't feel pressure to buy anything. I'm just saying like, if you want to go check out the store, if you want to go give it a follow, I really appreciate any support. Okay, I am like dying to open these boxes. So let's go. I think this one is a pair of shoes. So let's open it. This is a Poshmark order. Oh yes. They're uh, from a Target brand, A New Day, but they are brand new condition. And I think I paid about 12 to $15 for this pair. This package is from The Real Real. Yes. This is my pair of Prada sunglasses. 
I feel so bougie and ridiculous, but you have no idea how many years I've wanted to just own like a cool ass pair of designer sunglasses. These are my favorite sunglasses ever. Okay, next thing. After I finished filming, Haley from Haley's Thrift Haul dropped her Valentine's collection. She had some really cute uh, hair accessories and I really wanted one of her red scrunchy headbands. I already opened it because I already styled it with an outfit and took some photos. So it's this cute red satin scrunchy headband. Haley also has like the cutest packaging. There's like little heart stickers all over it. Thanks Haley, I love it. This is another Poshmark item, I believe. Oh, I know what this is. I ended up finding a pair of Madewell jeans. These are a rigid denim demi boot crop. Okay, this is from The Real Real. So whatever is in here is designer, baby. This is my Diane von Furstenberg cardigan. The quality of it is like even better than like my wildest dreams. I thought it was just gonna have like a little bit of beading. It is cashmere. This is gorgeous. All right, ooh, it feels like a really nice quality felt. I would try it right this second, but honestly, I just kind of got my beret how I want it. <laughs> I'm like afraid to move my beret. Okay, let's keep opening. Thank you for thrift shopping. And the fine print says, the fast fashion industry is responsible for producing 20% of global wastewater, emits 1.2 billion tons of CO2 per year and produces a billion garments annually. So this is a sustainably made 100% ring spun cotton t-shirt. They do a sustainable printing process. I'm really happy with my t-shirt and I will link it if you wanna just go check out her site and read her blog, it's fantastic. Or follow her on Instagram too, this is amazing. I'm gonna be that guy who wears the thrifting tee to the thrift store. It's kind of like wearing the band tee to the band concert, right? Like, I wanna be that guy. Okay, I got a close up on this. I'm gonna reuse all this paper too, it's so cute. I got that Ralph Lauren sheer top. The next thing I got are that pair of Cole Haan loafers, which I could not be more excited about. I have another package from The Real Real. This is the designer, I should look up how to say this. Prabal Garung. <laughs> okay, I had to educate myself. This is from designer Prabal Garung. It is 100% cashmere. I love the colors on it. Okay, a few more things to open. Another Poshmark order. Here's my lavender cardigan. I love this color. This is something I've been searching for. This is also like such a cute cut, a little bit cropped and like tapered in at the waist. I know it's in that one. I want to save it for last. Ooh, these are my Cole Haan ankle boots. Yeah, so I ended up getting a lot of shoes this time around, didn't I? Hmm. This is a mystery package of sweatshirts that I ordered from that Etsy seller. Here we go. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't know what this brand is, but it says Endo <laughs> and it's a hoodie, which I was not expecting to get. Um, this is not my favorite, but I'm gonna give it like a five out of 10 for me personally. It's something I feel like I would just throw in if I was doing yard work, honestly. So yeah, it's okay. This is cute. What I really wanted was to have a sweatshirt that I could wear with like some kind of graphic on it that would show underneath a blazer. This one would be super cute under a blazer, right? This one I'm gonna give like an eight or nine out of 10. One more, okay. I'm hoping for something that looks more like cool vintage, like an old university sweatshirt or something like that. But yeah, we'll see. It's got, oh, what is on it? Oh, yeah. I don't know what this is. What are we looking at here? How do I even like look up what this is? And the tag, it looks like it says MCM, but oh, it's like a piggy bank, I guess. It's probably been five minutes of me like studying this and Googling things. <laughs> and I realized it's a piggy bank. So we've got that far. I think this one is maybe like a six out of 10, just cause I don't love the like graphic. And I'm like, especially again, nervous 
to wear something when I don't know what it represents. So my like overall sense of this sweatshirt purchase, and I wanna kind of give it like a five out of 10, but maybe six out of 10. It did deliver on the colors that I asked for. They didn't really deliver on like the unique vintage side of it. In particular, the one that I actually liked is like definitely a modern, like recent sweatshirt. They also sized me up for some reason. I got, I asked for larges, I got all extra larges, and I'm not sure why. I feel like I didn't get exactly what I was expecting as far as like the size and like style. I also was expecting all crew necks and I got one hoodie, which I don't really want. I mean, that's a different style, right? So I'm ready to like try everything on. All right, let's see if we can style these sweatshirts that I don't love. So tried a little gold jewelry, tucked into jeans, and then an orange beanie to bring out the neon of this one. That's okay. And the idea was to wear it with a blazer, so I pulled that on over. I think it looks a little heavy with like the straight leg bottom, so this next one I tried with skinny jeans. And then my white high top sneakers to kind of make it a monochrome look. And again, I think it's okay. Well, moving on to some of the pieces that I liked better. Here's the Ralph Lauren top. To me, it's such a statement piece that I like styling it really simply in a monochrome look. And I put on the Cole Haan boots there. And with a sheer top like this, of course, you can show off a pretty bra or layer it up more modestly with a camisole. I also wanted to try this with my black leather skirt, and I think this makes a kind of sexy date night look, especially for a stay at home dinner date because my legs are bare and I would be freezing to go out. And I kind of miss going out and getting to amp up my look with a cute bag, so accessorizing with a hat is a good substitute at home. Now I want to try a layer with that sweatshirt and then just let the frilly collar poke out over the top. And I do think this needs a tuck just to define my waistline and make the proportions look correct, especially with the knee length skirt and the oversized blazer. If I had to do it again, I would incorporate a little bit more color, although this way definitely makes my lipstick pop a little bit. Now let's bust out these loafers. I would put them on with my polka dot socks, which I think makes it a little bit playful. And I think this is cute. Also would look good with some cropped jeans. Now we're styling up this sweater. The fit is tighter than I wanted, as you can see, but I thought I could try to make it look very chic with this leather skirt and my new sunnies. And I paired this with a blue floral dress and just let the collar poke over the top because I love this type of layering. This look feels very springtime to me and I think is complemented nicely by the red heels in this fit. This dramatic color blocking made me feel like I was channeling a little bit of Victoria Beckham, but let me know what you think. I think the key is that the shoes match the pants like perfectly. Next, I was dying to pull on that lavender cardigan with those red pants because I love this color combination lately. Very Valentine's Day and it looks perfect with that red headband as well. Uh, I, I don't know what to say for myself. Um, the sunlight was ruining my shot anyway, and I had some good 80s music on, so I just started goofing off. Rocks. And you know how the rest goes. Let's just avoid a copyright flag. So yeah, uh, I also really like this lavender sweater with jeans. <laughs> my other cardigan it fits me a bit smaller than I had hoped but I still really love wearing it and I feel good in it and I love styling it because it's such a statement piece on its own that I keep the styling really simple with jeans loafers 
I also tried it in this black and white look with the skirt again and the Cole Haan boots. Then I also liked dressing it up and bringing in some color with those heels. Then I thought I'd dress this up even a bit more by swapping the tee for a black camisole and pulled on my silk trousers and tried it with my little bucket hat here as well. Can I also tell you that I am obsessed with these red shoes. They are the most comfortable heels I've ever worn. Go Target. Now we're kind of dressing back down, but I love this t-shirt so much. I love these new Mainwell jeans I got. For me, I think the fit of both is really good and fits how I like them to. And I wanted to try it with the heels again, the men's style blazer, and pulling on the new hat. And I think this looks really cute and, and definitely my style. But to mix it up, I also tried it with a beanie because I'm all about beanies these days. And then the black boots because for me, those are like the most wearable this time of year. And I think this also looks cute with the lavender cardigan. So I love how a lot of these items could mix and match together. Then dressing it all the way back down, I also thought this would be super cute to show off my high top bands with these jeans. Overall, I'm thrilled with this haul. Curious to know what you guys think. Leave me a comment about the styling and your favorite pieces. Hey, so thank you, thank you, thank you for thrift shopping. Thanks again for thrifting with me. It was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed the styling portion and how this all came together. Thank you to all the amazing online vendors who offered up your awesome secondhand finds. I'm gonna link as much as possible down below in the description box. And don't forget, if you've got your own secondhand store, Poshmark, Depop, Etsy, whatever, please leave it in the comments so we can all go check out your shops as well. That's going to do it for today's video. So thanks again. I'll see you guys next week.